what happens when you survive the beginning of god of war ragnarok valhalla the last time i uploaded this you guys enjoyed it so much so i decided to do another one on pc this time hi guys my name is golden shepherd and i play pretty much different type of games if you guys are enjoying this type of video please don't forget to drop a like and sub to the channel <laughs> I expected to encounter here. Curious. Seems it's the way of this place to offer you a choice. You're not going in completely hobbled. Perhaps the last remaining pocket of Asgard. Something unreal about it, though. At least this part seems peaceful. We should have a look around. You truly believe Freya would have aided us in this? Aided us? Talk sense into you. Win win either way, really. I certainly can't see how there's any benefit to avoiding her. I am not avoiding her. Brother, you've gone to bloody Valhalla to avoid her. At least be honest with yourself. It is not her I'm avoiding. I value Freya. Well, that I believe. I'm nice to hear you admit, frankly. I think she values you as well, in her way. She finds me useful. It is not the same. Is that really what you think? I do not believe she understands what she asks. Sorry, brother, but maybe we reserve our talks for safe spaces. Use a shield, brother. <laughs> My shield will Find you! Doesn't resemble Asgard in the least. More like 
Jotunheim. <laughs> so you're not really avoiding fear, you're just avoiding our questions. Let's consider it. Yes, looting in isolation. How has that been working out? If there's an upside to this Valhalla madness, at least it's good to see you in action again. You're already more your cheery self than I've seen in moons. Without a Atreus or a fighting for you, I wonder after your well-being. Combat can be clarifying. Mean something. Must it? We will see. One thing though, brother. When you said Freya didn't value you the way you value her, that came surprisingly close to resembling the language of unrequited love. You know better. I do. An impossible pairing for any number of reasons. Just the same, it's obvious to any observer that you two care deeply about each other. Hmm. She is an important ally and a dear friend. Disappointing her is difficult, but what she asks of me, I... Makes you think she only finds you useful. Well, I can't speak for her, of course. But if our adventures have taught me anything, it's that our connections are what matter most. So, forgive me for hoping you'll work it out. Don't you? <laughs> Kratos. I have not for 
forgotten the debt I owe you. We're back outside. You marched into Valhalla without even talking to us first? Nice to see you too, milady. It was a personal matter, and I would not take you from your duties. You breached Valhalla. Consider it worth my time. This entrance is secret. Who told you of this place? Nailed to our door three days ago. Kratos of Sparta, you are hereby invited to a challenge. Face the past to face the future. Master Valhalla, master thyself. And then directions here, no signature. Who else knows of this entrance? Odin and us. It's likely a trap. You're thinking of going back in. Would you join me? Oh, don't let me intrude on your personal matter. Besides, I can't. Unlike the two of you, I've never died. What happens if I return inside? Well, that depends on you. Valhalla draws from the memories of those who enter. In there, you're an open book. Sure, you want to go back in. Hmm. How did you even get past the gate? I forced it open. With his bare hands. Oh, he forced it open. There's an easier way if you insist on going back in. Come, Sigrun. Maybe later we could continue with that one conversation. For once, Mimir. I think you've said enough. Ah, right then. And the other matter we discussed? You're still thinking, I take it? I am. Is that what this is? Guess I'll let you think, then. <laughs>